would be when a very dear brother here uh, was suddenly taken ill and was diagnosed with cancer and was suffering uh, really badly. And I just felt that it was right to pray that God would take him home, which I felt was right, but was a really hard thing to answer. Okay, um, the most difficult prayer I probably prayed was um, for my friend a few hours after they lost um, their mum to cancer. Uh, it was really painful, obviously, in their grief um, to know what to say and what to ask God for. Um, I think I remember praying and asking him, um, yeah, just that he would be with them, that his presence would be with them throughout the day and that he would give them grace towards each other. Um, but yeah, it, it was really hard to know what to pray that would make an impact into that. Um, I think the most painful or difficult prayer that I've ever prayed has been to do with when uh, family members or friends are really ill, um, both physically and mentally. And I think the prayer that I prayed was, um, it wasn't, in the end it wasn't, please God help me get better. It was, um, I know you have a course of action for them. Um, especially when um, my granddad was ill, very ill. Um, it wasn't pray for him to get better, it was pray for him, I pray for you to do your work and what is best for him, because that was quite difficult to pray. It was painful was when, as a young Christian, I had a big decision to make on which camp I was living, I think, of either trusting the Lord and going his way or um, seeking mine. I grew up as a young Christian in uh, Sudbury and attended the Assembly Hall Suffolk Road, which was the place of my conversion, and also where I was baptised. They loved me, they cared for me, and um, through different stages of life, we came to work, and I started work in a, a ladies' sewing factory, which put me off sewing for life, and then I went into an office situation of a, a local matting manufacturing um, clerk in an office in town, um, there I met a young man called Tom. I'd had previous two other non-Christian boyfriends and Tom, I thought, was it. Um, we got engaged and after two years, um, thought, well, we'll start planning marriage. Um, but two, my Christian faith wasn't um, particularly strong, but I believe the church prayed for me. It caused lots of tension, lots of arguments in our relationship because of where we were at. I was trying to live in two camps, um, one wanting to, to, to serve God and yet others wanting to serve and, and make Tom happy. Um, and because of the arguments, because of the tension, Tom um, became quite hard and very aggressive. And because of that, he gave me a choice one day of either him or the church. The prayer went up, a very quick prayer, but I believe people must have been praying too, very hard for me um, because of the situation. And I just chose the church. I said, Lord, show me what to do and in in where I'm at. I don't know which way to go. Um, and with that, I chose the church. I can remember Tom um, looking very hard, very angry, um, stepping out of our front door with his um, getting on his bike, riding down the road with my engagement ring in his pocket. The situation wasn't particularly easy from then because it, we still worked together, we still met each other in the factory front and on the office front. He came in and I went in. Um, and so things weren't particularly good there. And I remember it happened in February and a great sense of loneliness, thinking, I'm so miserable, so empty. Lord, what now? August, September, in a church which I thrown myself back into and, and got involved in, and God fed me and healed and loved, and the people loved. Um, it was news that there was a young teacher coming to the school, and the rest is history. <laughs> <laughs> um, but the hurting point, the, the, the healing point, was in, in God's love for me and those around me, and God answered that prayer. And one verse that stuck in mind greatly lately is um, Jeremiah 
for I know the plans I have for you, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you a hope and a future. And God proved that when I chose his direction, not mine, not Tom's, but what he wanted for me. And 45 years later, God has blessed and honoured that promise.